Now that it's legal to send and receive text messages while behind the wheel of a motor vehicle, let the violations begin. But wait, if it's legal to text behind the wheel, how on earth can you possibly get a ticket? While it is legal to text and receive messages, you must use some form of hands-free application. The key word here is hands-free. What are you doing there? What See your phone in your hand right there? What? You can't hold your phone in your hand. Oh, I, oh. You cannot hold your phone in your hand. Oh. At all. That's a violation. Oh, I wouldn't even know. Oh, I'm, oh okay. Yeah, I'm like. All right, you good. You just can't hold it, okay? All right, can't hold it. All right. All right. It's the same as the hands-free law for talking on the phone. You know, the one that's pretty much ignored. And I expect the new hands-free texting law will be ignored as well. In fact, I know it will. I sometimes see so many violators, I often wish I had a cop with me. Oh, wait a second, I do. And just a few minutes later, an illegal texter. How you doing? Can I get your ID, please? She couldn't find her ID, but something else might do. Give me your phone then, please. The reason why I'm stopping you right now, I want you to make a right turn and you're gonna turn in the parking lot. Since she couldn't find her driver's license, holding on to her cell phone will pretty much ensure she will not try to run. But was she really texting? Let's find out. I was checking a text message while driving at a stop sign, stoplight, and I got caught. <laughs> yes, she got caught. And you will too if you don't download a voice activated texting app today. What's happening right now is you're getting excited for texting while you're driving. And you know downloading that one application might just save you a trip to the courthouse or saving you from having to say, I got caught behaving badly. In Emeryville, Stanley Roberts, Cron 4 News. Checking a text message.